My name is Pastor Don Curtis from Victor Faith Center in Modesto, California. And I'm teaching on the subject of basic church doctrines. Now, basic church doctrines are the basics that everyone needs to know in the church. And so I'm just going to kind of refresh what we had been talking about earlier. That number one, the Word of God. We need to talk about the Word of God. Uh, the Bible is the Word of God, not the Koran or some other uh, uh, book, you know. And we need to know that the Bible is the revelation of Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ is our Redeemer. The Bible is the more sure word of prophecy, and the Bible is inspired. It's inspired by the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is holy. The Bible is also uh, personal for every believer. Every believer needs to understand that the Bible is very personal for them. And also we need to understand in the Bible it teaches us that the Holy Spirit is our teacher. And again, many people will say, well, if the Holy Spirit is my teacher, I don't need a man or a woman. Well, God anoints men and women to teach and to help in the body of Christ. That's one of the uh, five main ministries. Now, we also need to know that man in his relationship with God is vitally important and that God was, uh, you know, God created man in his image. And of course, God is a spirit. It tells us that God is a spirit in John uh, 4, 24. And then in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, it tells us that man is a spirit. And so uh, the real you, the real me, were spirits. <laughs> and we were created in God's image. And in Genesis 3, 1 through 14, we see the disobedience of man, uh, Adam and Eve. Everybody knows the story of Adam and Eve, <laughs> you know, but they disobeyed God and uh, partook of the tree that God told them not to partake of. And how, why did they do it? You know, well, they were deceived by the devil, right? And so rather than obey God, they obeyed the devil. And, but in uh, Genesis 3.15 and through 21, we see that God set the plan of redemption. Immediately after their sin of disobedience, uh, God set this plan of redemption. And in verse 21, he clothed them with coats of skin. Now, they had co covered themselves with fig leaves, you know, but God covered them with coats of skin. Originally, their covering was God's glory. <laughs> See, the Bible talks about all have come short of the glory of God. Sin didn't come short of the glory of God. Well, God's glory uh, had departed from them, and they were separated from God. Now, the Bible teaches us that Jesus Christ is the Redeemer. And we need to know that he's the one that's paid the price to bring us back to God. And he paid the total price for total redemption in every area of our life. Now, we need to know that the, the New Testament church begins uh, with the Great Commission. Once Jesus finished his ministry, he turned the ministry over to his disciples. And uh, as his disciples went on into heaven one by one, you know, <clears throat> they had trained up people under them and they took over and it's continued on down through the ages until here we are. You and I, we're the ones carrying out the Great Commission today until Jesus comes. And so in Matthew 28, verse 18 through 20 and Mark 16, 15 through 20, we see the Great Commission being established, and God tells us to go into all the world and to all nations and to do what he commanded, teach what he commanded. And in Psalm 67, 2, it gives it, in a nutshell, really what the Great Commission is. It said that thy way may be known upon earth, God's way, not the devil's way or man's, natural man's way, but God's way may, may be known upon the earth, thy saving health among all nations. And, of course, nations includes all nationalities. And so uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 19, 
it says, to wit, or witness that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, and not imputing their trespasses unto them. And then it goes on to say, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. In other words, man is already reconciled to God through Jesus Christ, but man must receive this salvation. If man does not receive what God has for him, then he's rejecting it just like Adam and Eve did in the beginning. See, so man must receive salvation. And so the next uh, event that we see and that we started on was the return of Christ. After everything is completed on earth and we've done our part, uh, you know, by the help of the Holy Spirit, we've done our part to try to win as many people to the Lord and get them into heaven, you know, as many people as we can. Uh, then Jesus is going to uh, return. Now, his first return is that we're, the church is going to meet him in the air and then we're going to spend seven years with Christ at the marriage supper of the Lamb. And then after that, Jesus is going to come back and rule and reign for a thousand years. Now, until he comes, we must, number one, present our bodies. <laughs> we can't live any way we want, you know. We must present our bodies to God as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God. And then the next thing we must do is renew our minds so our mind, our will, and our emotion is in agreement with God's word. So we have to renew our mind to God's word so that we can walk in the blessings of God and then we can help other people to see what the truth is about the Bible. Amen? So we renew our minds and, and uh, begin to do the work of the ministry. Now, uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 10 tells us there is the judgment seat of Christ and the judgment seat of Christ is where all believers go and at that judgment seat of Christ they will receive the reward. That's not the judgment seat where you're going to go to heaven or hell. You know, if you go to the judgment seat of Christ you're on your way to heaven. <laughs> the only thing is there's several rewards, you know, that you can receive. I, who knows what they all are, but we know that there's crowns that he gives out, five different crowns that he gives out. And some are for uh, believers and some are for leadership. But, you know, they're kind of like, uh, you know, people in the military, you know, they get awards or uh, different uh, badges for bravery and so forth and during the time of war. Well, we're going to get a those kind of things. Now, if a person hasn't done anything, uh, they're not going to get anything. But it, the Bible said they're going to be saved and go on into heaven. See? So, again, we don't have any information on, uh, you know, how all of that's going to come together. But we'll, uh, that's not important. Today, we need to do the work that we have to do here on earth. And that's the work of the ministry. And then the second uh, judgment seat that we see in the Bible is the great white throne judgment. And it's mentioned in the book of Revelation. Now in the book of Revelation, you know, during the, the time of Revelation, the well, first five chapters, uh, when you come up to the fifth chapter of Revelation, uh, you know, the church is here and then they leave. After, after the fourth chapter, actually, the church leaves earth and they're at the marriage supper of the lamb and so then that's in the middle of the tribulation and then the middle of the tribulation it just goes on and till uh, it finishes and then that's when we come back with christ to rule and reign for a thousand years so the next thing that we need to see and understand is that there is a real heaven and there's a real hell and so uh, I did a funeral one time for a precious lady that I love very much. And uh, in the funeral, I, that's the message the Lord gave me, that there is a real heaven. And people today are shunning heaven and choosing to go to hell. But I'm here to tell you that all you have to do is call upon the name of Jesus Christ, receive him as your personal Savior, and you're on your way to heaven. Amen. But you have to believe it in your heart, you know, that Jesus died on that cross, that 
Uh, he went to hell, paid the total price for your redemption, and God raised him from the dead. And that's what raises us from dead works to serve a living God. And that's what raises us from the dead to be alive unto God. Amen.